G'day guys and welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today we're going to take another dive back into Aussie dating and what you blokes at home, more specifically you dirty, dirty bastards at home, have to deal with out in the dating landscape. So without further ado lads, let's have a laugh at them. Dating as a 30 year old in Australia is so hard. I lived in London for seven years. Guys would come up to you in bars, like come up to you on the street, ask for your number, like not even in a creepy, annoying way, in a way that it was like flattering or like it just is like normal human communication. Dating in Australia. Mate, it's because you're fucking a foreign Aussie chick. Like you, the, the guys know that you're there, you're the Aussie chick, you're an expat, you're there, you're looking for action, you're gonna be an easy lay, you're gonna be a layup, slam dunk, bugging, boom! Smash it in, break the fucking backboard, you know, it's it's easy, it's easy, that's why they're doing it. It's not, not like you're this um, high class, high standard person. Get with the reality, darling. In Australia, not only is the dating pool so small, because there's less people, I guess, the amount of effort that Australian guys put in is insane. It's just nothing. Like, they'll just, they just want to message you for months and never ask you out and never meet up. And I'm like, what's your aim here? Like, do you just want a pen pal? Do you just want a friend to message when you're bored? Like, let's hang out. Let's go to- I don't know who, mate. She'll just, these are all her friend zone dudes that she's talking about. Any guy that she wants that's gonna be direct or ask her to go out, she's gonna go out. I, I don't know, I think some guys might get shy asking chicks out. As I say guys, just be direct, have a crack. She's either going to say yes or no, move on to the next one. Another bus comes in five minutes time. There's always another tram, another bus coming. So don't get too scared to shoot your shot. But not of these slurries. Well, this one, you know, she thinks she's bloody awesome. She's like a three out of ten on a good day. Go to the fucking beach because there's beaches here. Let's go get a drink. Like there's, you could literally just do anything. Now I just have like 50 guys on my Instagram in my DMs <laughs> messaging me and like replying to my stories. I'm like, you're my fans. I'm not dating you. You're just a fan. Look at that. Look at that. It's just living in delusion. Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, guys. This is what I call it. Dating app. she got 50 dudes trying to message her, trying to <laughs> little plankton. You know, you know when you, you go down to the duck park and you throw you throw some bread in, oh, the little ducks are <laughs> trying to get it. That's what you guys are. You guys at home, look what you have done. You have created it. A bit in all seriousness, complete delusion. But I'm going to say, not all is lost on this one, guys. She has been absolutely roasted in the comments here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at what the boys are saying. One person has said, maybe you're not attractive enough. Maybe a 4 out of 10 isn't worth all that attention. <laughs> you're a 4 out of 10 at best. Cop that. Four out of ten wondering why it's so hard to date. <laughs> Four out of ten. DJ is copping it. Awesome. You know what the funny thing is? This is quite a recent video that came out, guys. Um, it actually um, was on a new site, news.com.au, which is like a local sort of rag that posts a whole lot of, you know, womanist bullshit on it all the time. That's the home of um, Jana Hocking, which uh, other creators always have a crack at. I don't bother. That's their turf. But this lady, there's a new lady in town, guys. And you tell me in the comments if you've seen her articles that are basically womanism and misandry. But it's uh, good old um, Mary Madigan. So have a look at some of her articles promoting SEX work and all that sort of stuff. You know, trying to justify <laughs> and all this dating bullshit. Uh, it's hilarious. All right, let's jump into the next one. Here we go. This is you guys. You guys at home. This is you on a Wednesday night. Us hanging out at the back of the VN. You've pulled up. Um, you've you've taken your Duncan firmly out of the back seat, thrown it onto the grass, thrown her in, bent her over. Boom, boom, boom. Not that I would know. Okay, single people of Adelaide, where are we finding men? That's not the dating apps because they suck, and that's not a run club because. I'm not a runner. Yeah, no shit. I've tried, I've tried. I'm, I'm just not a runner. Pretty sure you haven't tried while drinking a huge cup full of sugar with about 4,000 calories in it. So where do I find men? Out in the wild. I just don't, I just don't know where to go. And the only men that I know how to like talk to and flirt with is guys that work at coffee shops. And with them, I don't know if they're just like, you know, being nice to me and laughing and bantering with me because they're getting paid to do so. Probably. Actually, we're vibing and I should slip in my number. Like, I just, 
I don't know if they're being paid to be nice and to flirt and banter with me. They paid. So I just, I don't know. Where are we finding men? I just need tall, athletic. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where, where are they? Please, someone tell me. They're far away from you. The, uh, uh... Guys, look at you've done. Look at you've done at home. You've gone and upset your mother. Look at you done. You got this thing here, thinking that she's going to get a tall, athletic man because you guys on Hinge, Bumble, Tinder, you, you, you're trying to tune her up on a quiet way and say, oh, yeah, you're so hot. Oh, yeah, you're, you're a stunner and all that. Because you, you and all the other planktons, you, know the, you and all the other ducks at the duck park trying to get the bread and trying to get these uh, chubby little slurries into the back of the VN behind cricket boys. And only one of you can. And so she's thinking she's awesome. She wants a tall, athletic guy because she let the tall, athletic guy go there. And do that. And that's uh, that's our her new baseline. Thanks to you. You're to blame. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's, let's have a look. Uh, this is a stitch, guys, so let's watch this out. Hi. Can someone please explain to me how Australian dating rules work? Yes, here's how it goes. Oh, she looks fun. Hinge, put on your nicest photos and answer the prompts in a way that shows care and effort and that you are a fun and cool person and then you swipe past a bunch of guys who are looking for someone to gently bully or whose love language is gentle bullying yeah we go it's clementine forward here guys it's uh she looks like a lot of fun you come across these types on hinge and bumble you know full-on womanist why are you on there if you hate guys why are you on there if you hate guys who actually want to be men you know go find a fanboy in the library or something um you know <laughs> yeah but this is uh guys who aren't from australia this this shit's Everywhere. You come across these all the time. It is a key facet of Australian culture, though I don't really know what it means or why it's so important. I have a feeling that it means that when you are lowballed into something that does not constitute as a date, that you are taking yourself too seriously. That you're bound. Yeah, like you are taking yourself too seriously. Why would a guy who doesn't know you take you on a date and spend money when you literally don't know each other? He owes you nothing, you owe him nothing, just made up, see how you go. But that's too hard for these chicks. It's got to be a date, got to buy me something, make me feel special, even if you got a head like a bucket of smashed crabs like this bird. <laughs> Boundaries will be tested. And that you're stuck up if you don't go along with a man who expects to communicate the way he does with his friends and not in a way that shows care and passion and enthusiasm so think of it as hanging out with your brother but um he expects to get laid at the end of it that's basically the summary of it so good luck <laughs> okay that's a real positive guys real positive that's what you gotta look forward to out there anyway guys halfway through uh if you're enjoying the show uh please subscribe to the channel if you're not already I'm trying to aim for uh, 7k subs as soon as possible so it'd be awesome if you could help out with that um and yeah watch my video show at the end that's the best way you can help me and expand my reach on youtube comment like get amongst it have a bit of love for the boys in the comments and if you do want to support the channel further check out the patreon link in the pinned comment and the the description of the video all right let's uh let's move on to the back end gents I just want to know from the girlies who live in Australia, sorry, love you, the rest of the world, but actually really need to get some sort of like a benchmark on what the girlies in Australia are accepting as a bare minimum when it comes to dating. So I've got a few. Please drop yours in the comments below. This chick sounds like so much fun, guys. Bare minimums. What are your ex? What are you accepting? You know, and then what applications are you accepting? You know, what does the guy have to do for me, me, me? I can't be a nice girl. Um, and show some value to a guy by being fun and easy to go. No, 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 I've got to want, 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 ask for shit. <laughs> and you got a head like an absolute chewed minty, you know? You're not, I was going to say you're not Jennifer Lopez, but she's got a head like a chewed minty these days. Low, because I think we all need to be really transparent about this so that as a collective whole, Australia isn't dragged through the mud. These are my requirements. The first one is oh, you have to actually ask me out on a date. That does me. That means like no hanging out. Like if you use the words hang out or catch up, I'm immediately icked out and like. She's icked out because she used to being slammed in the back of the van a whole bunch of times. 
Bryce, he promised her all, oh, yeah, 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 this time we'll just hang out, you know. Why don't we go grab a coffee, grab a meal, um, and then, hey, why don't we go talk down at the local cricket park because it's quiet there. We can maybe go for a walk on the cricket ground. Let's thing you know, fucking boom, 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 boom. Get absolutely pounded in the rain. A light drizzle behind the cricket ground in the VN. She has copped it a few times now, and now she wants to get something out of it, and she's making sure of it. So you boys are now paying for what Bryce has gone and done. Classic. But look, have a look at his face. Have a look at that. Is that something that you want to be picking up on a date, you know, and spending your hard-earned cash on? I don't. Turned off. Um, the second is actually picking a place. So yeah. if you can't pick a place, come back to me with some suggestions and we can, like, talk about it. <laughs> the third is reconfirming the day of, um, ideally before 2 p.m. Oh. And the fourth is you have to wait for me outside the bar or the restaurant because if you... I just want to know... Guys, guys, guys. So it's a sort of cut off there, but what are we doing here? What are we doing here? What's going on? These chicks are just off their head. And that's why they're single on TikTok increasing their requirements. That's what I always like to talk about. Women always increasing the price when no one's actually buying the product. That's like me going on a job interview, right? For a job I'm not qualified for. And I go, if you want me, 500K a year plus bonus. And they're like, uh, G-Man, the, uh, the job was actually for 75. I said, nah, fuck yeah. I want 500K. And they go, well, see you later, mate. I go, well, you can't handle me. 600K if you want me. And just keep raising the price. No one's going to take you, but, you know. So, hey, guys. Well, at least, uh, oh, this is, she's a bit famous. I've had her on a few times. This one here, it's, um, this is what you want to wake up to. This is a PBJ, paper bag job, lads. Forget the fucking pandemic. We have a dating crisis in Australia, <laughs> and I genuinely thought I was the only person experiencing this. PBJ. But the comments on my last TikTok have me mind blown. Forget the fucking. Well, <laughs> you, uh, what do you say to this, guys? Bucket like a hit. Head like a bucket of absolute smash crabs here. When done up, when wearing makeup. I know it's not all based on looks, guys, but you can't be this entitled unless you're 9 and 10 out of 10, 8 out of 10 at least, at the minimum. You can't be requesting this when you're a, two, a hard 2 out of 10 with makeup on. You know, when you're truly a uh, Brycey bait. Or no, you're Steve-O. This is what Steve-O does. Steve-O goes for these kinds of chicks, not Brycey. Steve-O takes on whatever he can off plenty of fish. This is a plenty of fish chick. Or if you guys remember back in the day, RSVP, Oasis Active. I think that absolute filth on there, she would be one of them. She fits into the category. <laughs> Let's jump into the last one, guys. Oh, here we go. To be the one to say this, but I feel that the reason it's really hard to date in Australia is because women as a collective over here do not hold the men to a higher standard. I mean, I'll try to be racist here, but what kind of standard are you going to hold the guys to in, you know, fucking Sudan or whatever? You know, the Sudanese guys throwing a fucking machete at you. They're, they're not taking you out on a first date like in, for a nice restaurant, you know. And, oh, yeah. Not about race here. I'm just saying, being realistic, like, what, what sort of standards are we asking here? I mean, when we have things like accepting to go 50-50 on a date with a man, a man who's supposed to be pursuing you, or, like, moving in together with someone after one month and you haven't really established... Who does that? ...the relationship is going... Or you, as a woman, you are established, you know, you're living a life where you financially secured yourself and you're letting someone who hasn't really stabilized themselves come and live in your space and you're not really expecting anything much from them. When men start to see such things, then they expect that from women. And when you, as a woman, you're like, you know what, I need better. The men are like, why should I give you better? I mean, other people out there are just letting you do whatever. So what's special about you? I hate to be the one. Exactly, mate, because guys aren't chasing her. They aren't giving her the, the special treatment. Dude. Like, she's wearing a wig. She's got a shaved head under there. It's like Gary fucking Coleman or something under there with a wig on. You know? Before you say, oh, gee, man, that's racist. Come on, guys. Fuck. Lighten up. But seriously, we're living in um bizarro world, guys. Bizarro world. It's... um. Interesting place to be as a man currently in Australia in a dating market. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Hope you had a bit of a laugh there. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, check out my Patreon if interested.